Well, hey everyone, window treatment marketing pros, fans, friends, uh, window treatment awning companies. I uh, hope you're having a great day. It is Friday. Uh, it is, uh, what is this, February the 5th, uh, 2021. Hope you're having a fantastic week, getting lots of leads and uh, generating some revenue for your business. So I uh, wanted to come to you with kind of an update of what we're doing, what's changed in our world. Uh, what new things we've released uh, that are available for you to help grow your business and uh, and just kind of get a go through a quick list of everything. First up, my book, if you haven't received a copy of this, uh, Triple Your Window Treatment and Awning Leads, uh, you can get it on Amazon. It is out there. You can just look up that name. You can look up my my name, Will Hankey. Uh, but uh, get, you a, get you a book. Get you a copy of that book. It's all around uh, internet marketing and all of the different things you could do to really kind of start boosting your business from an online perspective. All right, next, um, our podcast. We did two uh, fantastic interviews in January. Uh, the first was with Andy Magnus, and we talked a lot about the PPP loans and the EIDL grants, uh, some money that's available for you to help your business grow, uh, to help, well, to help your business run. Uh, but some money that you can get to help uh, with the payroll side of things and just keep your operation moving forward. So check that out on our website, wtmarketingpros.com slash podcasts. And we also talked to Roger Magalis, uh, who is a master installer. Uh, so we talked to him about, you know, coming at it from the installer side and how they see it and what they're looking for and how you can work with installers uh, find more of them, find really good ones, get them training. Uh, some fantastic stuff that Roger talked about as well. So make sure you talk, uh, make sure you check out both of those podcasts, uh, which is called Marketing Pains. Uh, next, uh, our February training will be announced early next week, and it's going to all be around your online reputation. So things that you can do to influence your overall reputation. Uh, and uh, obviously uh, work backwards to uh, to get more leads because you're starting to show up in more places. You're getting those uh, reviews, those testimonials, those referrals. All of these things work together to really start uh, generating more, more traffic to your site. So we'll announce that uh, uh, next week. If you are not on our email uh, newsletter list, then just uh, reach out to us, wtmarketingpros.com slash newsletter. Make sure you get that because every week I'm, I'm sending out new, uh, new content related to growing your industry, growing your business, all that kind of stuff. Um, all right, next, uh, Monday the 15th is President's Day, Washington's birthday. Uh, for some businesses, you may be closed that day. If you are, make sure that you go into your Google My Business profile and your Bing Places profile and update those hours that you're going to be, if it's a reduced hour day or if you're just closed that day, make sure you update those uh, so, that, so that those systems know not to show your, uh, your business hours as being open, that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, next, uh, our magazine will be out early next week as well. We've got some fantastic articles in there. Uh, first up, uh, the most common mistakes that you make with running Facebook ads. Uh, it's a great article on that. Uh, why every business needs digital marketing. So some, so some high level, why it's important to even have a digital marketing strategy in the first place. Google local service ads. So this is something that's coming to our industry uh, where you can actually get additional placement for some Google ads across the top of Google, and it just kind of calls it out in a little more way. An example of this is if you go to uh, search for a plumber in your city, you'll see these additional ads across the top of Google now. Those are called local service ads, and they're rolling those out to more and more industries, uh, and they're, they work fantastically. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so definitely need to know about those. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to talk a little bit about bulk email. 
Uh, so just you know, not necessarily why you need a newsletter, but how to start sending some of these bulk emails out uh, and keeping top of mind with potential uh, prospects and suspects, we call them, right? Uh, suspects and prospects, but keeping yourself, your business, your brand in front of those people is a big piece of that. Uh, our tool, Lead Boomerang, if you're unfamiliar with that tool, it's a uh, all-in-one encompassing system around um, all of your, your bulk emails, all of your newsletter stuff that you're doing. Uh, it's a CRM, it's a pipeline. Uh, it lets you contact people, know where they're at. It lets you communicate with them on email, SMS, uh, voicemail, things of that sort, even dialing uh, customers through the system, seeing all of that communication in one place, uh, adding on your sales team to use this tool. Uh, as the leads come in, it can round robin those leads out or you can assign them to specific people. Some really cool stuff. So this past week, uh, we rolled out uh, a new chat feature. So every uh, one of our clients now has a chat function on their website. And when a customer fills that out, it immediately dings your app on your phone that uh, that our clients have. And you can start communicating with that client immediately, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we added in a new cell phone name lookup option. So in a, lo a lot of times, if somebody comes to your website, picks up the phone and calls you, um, all you get is their phone number, right? You don't necessarily get their name or it doesn't show up on the caller ID, things like that. So there is a way to reverse engineer that, that to get that person's phone, or sorry, to get that person's name. So we've added that to our system. So people that start to call you, those cell phone lookups will go up. And if that name is available, it will automatically go into your CRM and into your pipeline, which is cool. Uh, so you're not just looking up phone numbers, you have names attached to those as well. Uh, and then lastly, we've launched a new project page form. So all of our clients, uh, one of the things that they're doing is they're adding projects on a very weekly basis of new projects that they've completed, that they've finished. And we've built a form. Uh, for those clients where you can go upload those projects super easy now and we'll get those out on your website as well. So having a project page on your site can really help uh, boost your overall lead quality because they're going to see projects that you've done in the past uh, and, and installs that you've done and that just generates more trust with potential uh, prospects. Um, all right, so that is it. Again, if you don't have a copy of the book, uh, Find that on Amazon, grab yourself a copy of that book. Uh, and uh, if you are interested in talking with us a little bit more about how we can help you grow your business, I'd love to just have a short 15 minute discovery call, no pressure, no sales pitch, anything like that. Uh, and you can set that up at wtmarketingpros.com slash strategy. Love to talk with you to see what you're up to and uh, see if we can help you grow your business in 2021. That's it. Hope you have a fantastic weekend and we will see you guys next week. Bye.